it is time. Up next, we're listening to a fan pick <gasps> by Annabelle Lukens, yeah. co-founder and cruise oh. director of Jam Cruise. So, yeah. Dave, I saw that you curated a super jam on Jam Cruise this year. How'd that happen? Uh, not easily. That's a lot of work. So, so like, <laughs> did okay? So, did Annabelle get with you and is like, hey, like, do you want to do the super jam? And oh yeah, like, sure. And then you look at this yeah. huge lineup of people and what you yeah. just called them, and you're like, hey, Looks like, good on how paper, can we make then, it go yeah. down? I mean, in the end, it was like it was one of the most special like 75 minutes of my life, you know. Uh, but it was, you know, Annabelle told me like almost nine months ago, at least nine months ago. I don't know. I've been thinking about it for like eight or nine months, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how to put this thing together. Every song was a different lineup and I had to fill like 75, uh, 90 minutes worth of music. Um, and so like, I had to sort of like think about what songs would be appropriate for the, for the show, for being on the boat or on the pool deck stage outside six o'clock at night, trying to think about what songs would be good for that. And then once I sort of looked at that, then I looked at all the, players that were on the boat and making a list of all the players on the boat which is like hundreds you know uh and then trying to figure out who would be appropriate for which song and you know the the, the degree of coordination was was at a level i've never experienced in my life it's just it was crazy and to think about something like that every day for nine months just like by the end my eyes were just like brrr, swirling you know um and uh but i mean like fortunately like, everyone that played on that boat was just you know such uh pros and dedicated to music and you know great people uh just everyone had my back you know we had very we had a lot of snafus some crazy stuff went down we we lost a couple of people as far as like being able to make the set and um had some last minute switch ups and like oh running around on the boat trying to find somebody to be able to like cover a part and do this and that and it was just like all up until the last you know day i was like trying to rearrange stuff and put together we had 11 songs to put together um we had a couple rehearsals but of course everyone's out raging all night so it was hard to gather you know herd the cats you know <laughs> as yeah, it were. Yeah. oh yeah <laughs> and, definitely. Uh, yeah it was insane. And so thank God for Annabelle and my friend Tori, uh, my lady Danny. They all helped me organize uh, getting everyone on the same page as far as set times and whatnot. And um, it, I mean, it went great. I mean, you know, we're just so lucky that our scene is so full of pros and, and dedicated musicians. People love music. People like when they're on stage, there's no bullshit. You know what I mean? They're playing their asses off. And, um, and that's what it was like, you know, like doing rehearsals was like, oh, I hope this works out. And then once we got on stage, it was like magic was happening. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, uh, when you're that fluent in a language, it's really hard, even if you don't know what you're going to talk about, it's hard to like get the grammar wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you got pros up there, it's like really hard to like, you, it's like it takes so much effort to like drop the ball than it is to yeah. keep on the ball, you know? Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, this, you know, this was like day six of being on the boat. So everyone was fun by the end, you know, but mm -hmm. once we got on stage, man, like everybody brought it's it. It's instinct, you know, you know so the, the lizard brain kicks in and then you're like, oh, this yeah. is why I'm here. This oh, is yeah. what I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. here for, you know. It was amazing. I, you know, I thank Annabelle so much for that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me that opportunity. It's very, very, very cool. Yeah, and uh, Annabelle is in the chat and says that it was kitten wrangling at its finest, and that uh, <laughs> Annabelle says that our scene is the best. Uh, yeah, she also, uh, we're going to be listening to uh, Doom Flamingo. Uh, so, oh. do you remember the first time you ever heard of Doom Flamingo or Kanika Moore? Do you remember when they yeah. first came on your radar? Yeah, I think. Uh, Ryan Stasek came to a show that Motet was doing in Charleston, um, where those guys are from, and uh, South Carolina. And uh, and he just was telling me about his new project, you know. And I hadn't heard Kanika 
But of course, I'd known Ryan for years and, um, of course, very curious. And then, man, Kanika is just, ah, oh, she's got it. She's got the star power. She's got this incredible, her ability to, to do like anything with her voice is just, it's like mind blowing. And, um, you know, it's just captivating listening to her play. So she's, she sat in with us a number of times in the last year and it's always been a true honor to play with her. Um, so yeah, I love Doom Flamingo. I saw both their sets on the boat. They're very, very cool. Yeah. Different. It's different music for, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, some different stuff going on, which is cool. Yeah, I know she also uh, did a tour with Talk, which I think is a really cool thing because oh, yeah. we were talking with yeah. uh, Alric AC Carter from Talk on the show, AC, and yeah. you know, in order to have someone sit in or go on a tour with that, it really takes like so much trust, you know, like Absolutely. on both yeah. on both yeah. sides, you know. Well, they recorded a record, and so they were doing. We were actually on that tour with them. It was Talk and Motet playing a bunch of shows, and um, <laughs> man, those guys were just bringing the house down. Like that, right. I really like that project. Those Kanika would talk is something special. Right, right. Um, so uh, actually, Annabelle has some things that she wanted to say. Here's some remarks. Annabelle says that she chose Doom Flamingo's song "Along for the Ride," which is the first track on their brand new album "Peaches and Bobby." For many reasons, first of all, she's madly in love with Kanika Moore. She's the epitome of female power and strength and beauty. And second, she's crazy about the entire band and their vibe. It's like a modern '80s rock with lyrics and melodies that make my face cringe up into a ball of emotion. Eyes closed, <laughs> fists in the air. And the lyrics to the song are so overwhelming. Quote, and the old part of me feels gone. I feel gone and I could just scream or move on. I'm along for the ride. End quote. Uh, Annabelle says, this life we live, we hurt, we grow, we move on. And no matter what, we stay on the path because we are along for the ride. Dave and I were just on Jam Cruise with Kanika, and she has been dealing with some unfathomably hard times. Yet despite them, she showed up on board, picking her head up and showing us all how to be along for the ride. This crazy, painful, beautiful ride of life. We're here with Dave Watts from the Motet, listening to Doom Flamingo from the February 10th album, 2023, Peaches and Bobby, uh, suggested by Annabelle Lukens, the co-founder and cruise director of Jam Cruise. We're listening to Along for the Ride right here on Galaxy Jams Reacts. What do we do after the love is gone? Oh. Do we pick up or move along? I appreciate a good lyric video. Don't yeah, know right. where it oh, 80s. I think Annabelle gets it. I'm finding Big time. Something that is real. Sounds like, sounds like synth wave. Yeah, right? <laughs> or arpeggios. Or the intro to a great TV show. Nice production. Oh my god, her voice is huge. Right. So expressive. Yeah. Oh my god, this is great. I'd be like jumping up and down at this show. I'm ready. It's like the, the montage scene. In Take it to the chorus. Take it to the chorus. That's tremendous. Her voice is amazing. Dude, 
It's I love incredible. that voice. I just like. I've to, never heard her sing a wrong note ever. Oh, I, I wow. wouldn't doubt that. I just the uh, music background uh, behind her. It's unexpected uh, as far as um, just that synth wave sound with that kind of voice coming together. It's something brand new to right. me. I really, right. really like that sound. What do you think, Mike? I love the duality in this song. I mm -hmm. love how it sounds so new and fresh, but then also fills me with like so much nostalgia. Mm -hmm. I like how yeah. it makes me like relaxed and feel warm and happy, but at the same time, it's like I want to get up and do something. You know what I mean? You know, spur to action. And uh, I feel like her voice is really taking me there. I'm a gigantic fan of like synth wave, mm -hmm. lo-fi, vapor wave type of music, and this is hitting all the right spots. And the visuals, you can tell that they put in a great budget into doing it. And uh, I'm really liking this whole package. What do you think, Adam? This is catharsis incarnate. Like, I just want to, <laughs> right after this, get in my car, drive 100 miles an hour, and ugly cry the whole time. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I can do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, this is, gr this is great. You know, you, this, stuff, the, the, this type of state of mind is difficult to right. distill well, but it's, 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 it's one of those things, you know, it's why I love emo music and, like, and, and some of these, like, and why we get so attached to some of these th songs and and tracks that we listen to when mm -hmm. we are coming of age and like teen teens twenty somethings like that raw like we don't know what to do with all these feelings and we yeah. we, right, got, we gotta do right, something with right. it it's it's a universally like aligning human experience and like I'll never get sick of it yeah, yeah. you know yeah. like during a movie where it's like the the like epilogue almost where it's like at the end and like you're kind of thinking of everything that happened and everyone's like yeah. off looking into the distance Montage, and all this yeah. exactly like i'm getting those vibes so hard from this yep. you know it's yeah. really really uh wonderful dave what do you think do you have any thoughts about it well i like what you're saying um about her voice being coming from a different space than the than the music, yeah. you know, she's got such a soulful thing going on. Her voice is so rich. And sometimes, like, with the 80s vibes, it's going to be a little stiff, you know, robotic, yes. you know, thing, you know. So um, hearing um, <clears throat> hearing her voice with that sort of, like, 80s pumped up jams, uh, I, mean, I love it. It's like, like you said, it's a cool pairing. Yeah, it just flows across it like a nice, fine icing. Yeah, it's like a soulful exercise video. Mm. I like it. <laughs> it's soul flex. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It makes yeah. me want. It makes me want to yeah, jump sure. up and do stuff. Yeah, you know. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. that's true. Get active and praise Jesus. <laughs> yeah. We didn't deserve that harmony. The video is great. Yeah, Annabelle, you just made the playlist. Oh, yeah. Realize they kept so, so much for us to build up to. That's a cool, like, release. I like that. Nice. Well, we have to catch our breath after all those feelings. This is when you're, like, hugging all your friends, you're crying your eyes out. In you're slow getting, motion. You're getting everyone together for the big finish. I like the harmony there. Yep. Oh, there's sax is back. Yeah, really, really uh, has a big effect on it, too. Like sax in the yeah, cave. They're not shy to put a lot of effects on all their instruments in this uh, to give it yeah, this that's, huge sound. That's the vibe. Like a dark alley at night. So. Little Pink Floyd vibes. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I can definitely hear that. Nice. Thanks.
Along for the Ride, oh starring God. Ralph Luchaccio. <laughs> Saturdays at 8. I'm so happy. I just want to go like wow. uh, film a TikTok of I... overcoming mild inconveniences. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't, I can't get the image out of my head of like Annabelle cranking that tune in her pink leg warmers. It's just like yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. jazzercising in her living room with her kid. Nice. Yeah. that's a, <laughs> I, I think that what I like the most about this song is that it's got layers to it. Like on the surface, it's like a feel good, fun pump up song, mm -hmm. but it's like, I feel like they demand more from you. And when you really, really listen into what they're doing and the message that they're saying, they really, really want you to be vulnerable and like raw. And like, it's really, really hard, especially the older that you get to let a song like touch you in that way and make you feel those things and make you think about all the good times and all the bad times. And I feel like they do a great, great job at like going right there you know yeah. and i felt like when i was listening to the song i was right there with them that's a great point i mean yeah. at this you know at the at later stages of your adulthood and as you as you have all these distractions you have like your professional world you have all these goals you have all these things that are looming over your head it's, it's harder to be present in the moment with how you feel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and this, this especially with music you know because you're so jaded you're like i like that and i like that and that's all i like you know and to find something new that like <laughs> touches you in a way like that i feel like it's really rare this rips you out of your shell right <laughs> you know um, it's great. It was great. We really, really appreciate that song, Annabelle. Thank you so much for sharing that job, amazing Annabelle. track with us. We really, really appreciate it. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.